Hey guys, Avila here, bringing you my Zerg Mechanics Guide. Zerg Mechanics slash Hotkey Guide. Um, so, yesterday I told you guys, well, I made a quick little replay analysis or uh, talked about Zerg Mech. Well, since I'm going to be playing Zerg Grandmasters here, I'm going to make you a quick little guide about how to larva inject, or at least how I larva inject. Um, Different people larva inject different ways, but I think you guys will find the way. Well, first of all, let me go over how I hotkey. Uh, that's probably that's probably the uh, the first thing. So let me just grab a drone here. So I'm just gonna build a hatchery here. Build another hatch. Oops. Research complete. And build another hatch, and then a queen, queen, queen. And what else? Let's make let's make a couple of units. Uh, just make a couple of roaches. All right. So the way I hotkey. Oh, let's actually let's get a roach hydro. Let's get some of this. So first of all, how do I hotkey my buildings? Well, assume this is my main hatchery. <clears throat> Sorry, sniffling again. Abby sniffles. Whew! Alright. <laughs> As I was saying, assume this is my main hatchery. So my first hatch, a hockey to five. Second hatch to six. Third hatch to seven. And then all of my hatches on the map, I hotkey to nine. So, when I play Terran, I hotkey all my production to nine. My barracks, factory, starports. When I play Zerg... I have them. I have all my hatcheries on nine because your hatcheries are your production. So I actually don't use zero for anything when I play Zerg, which is uh, slightly different than when I when I play Terran. So do I hockey the queens? Some play, some players hockey the queens, but I don't do that. Some players hockey camera locations. I don't do that. So how do you inject? Well, the hotkey for injecting is the V key. You can obviously change that if you want, but by default it's V. So what I do is I press. I, I, to go to my main, I double tap 5, quickly select the queen, press V, left click. Double tap 6, select the queen, press V, left click. Double tap 7, select the queen, left click. And then for my units, I have those on 1, 2, 3, and 4. So that's how, that's how I inject. So every inject cycle, I'll go 5-5, five, five, select, V, left click, 6-6. Six, six, Select the queen, V, left click, 7-7, seven, seven, select the queen, V, left click. So that's how I do it. So I'll go, so uh, let me uh, just get these, let me get these on different screens real quick. Uh, can I make this terrain larger? <clears throat> Arena? Nope, that's... <sighs> I guess the largest is uh, a field here, so let me let me do this again real quick, just for sake of uh, showing you guys. So hatchery there, Let's put a hatchery over here, and then a hatchery down here. So just for the just for the sake of uh, so hockey, my first hatch is six, natural to seven, third base. To, I mean natural, to, yeah, five, six, and then seven. So. When I'm playing a game, um, and like, let's say I have links on the map, whatever. And also, oh, also I hockey my queens to three, like, later in the game when I'm, like, accumulating queens in some matches, I hockey them all to, uh, to three or two, depending on what I have in my army. But usually I hockey them to three, and I have vipers on, like, two and stuff. So, let's say I have my army in the map, hockey to one, I go back to my base, 5-5-V, five, five, left click, 6-6-V, six, six, left click, 7-7, seven, seven, uh, select V, left click. So again, 5-5, five, five, select the queen, press V, left click, 6-6, six, six, select the queen, press V, left click, 7-7, seven, seven, select the queen, V, left click. So there you go, guys. There's uh, there's how I larva inject with Zerg. I, and again, like, it takes some practice to get used to that, but that's how, that's how I do it. 5-5, five, 6-6, five, six, six, select. So I just go between my bait. That's how I larva it. Inject uh, it's pretty quickly. It's not. It's not theoretically. The, there is a way to do it even faster. I think with camera locations, probably. But you know, 
for me, this is very simple. Uh, it's pretty efficient, and it's, it's just a solid way to do it. Uh, and I've done it, you know, for so many years now playing StarCraft II when I, when I do play Zerg that it's pretty not Also, because I'm so used to going between my bases as all three races, that's why I off my off race is really strong, because I, my hotkey setup and everything is very consistent across all three races. 5-5, five, five, select, V, left click, 6-6, six, six, select, V, left click, 7-7, seven, seven, select, V, left click, boom. That's how I inject. <clears throat> now for creep jammers, what I do is, well, it takes a little bit of time to get used to, to uh, spreading creep with Zerg. But basically, every time they're off cooldown, like, you just want to be ready. Uh, go to your next creep timber. You get in like a, you get in like a rhythm of doing it, so... As you're macroing, making units, you know, making drones or whatever, five, five, you go back to your base, inject. Have your army, and then your creep timbers are ready again, and then you spread the creep. And then you go back, go back to your base, inject. You get into it. you get it. As you play games, you get into a rhythm, and you, your brain kind of like remembers like, oh, my creep tumor is about to be done. Go back to base, inject, inject, inject. Creep tumor, creep tumor, creep tumor. Uh, you know, hockey my arm. Like, as as you're playing, uh, it gets more intuitive. Like, you know, right now the creep tumors are already ready, so you get, you should get it. You basically what you do is you form a habit of every time, like you get into a, a a rhythm, a macro cycle. So it's like, I'll like, I'll do the injects. And then go to the creep tumors, and then spread the creep. So you you get into a rhythm, and then you you know as you're doing other stuff, making drones, sending the mine, and then eventually again you just inject. And then by that time the creep tumors are ready again. So then you can spread the creep, and then you get you. So with Zerg, it's a little bit different from Terran. Whereas Terran, sure you have mules, like you get into a you like have to remember to to land mules and stuff. I can't, you you know your game your like internal game you you develop a game sense for it and so with Zerg you have to do the same thing you have to no, no. develop a game sense for like as the creep tumors are about to be ready you know then you then you go back and spread them and so yeah there you go guys there's my Zerg uh, larva inject guide that's how I do it I recommend you guys uh, if you play Zerg whether you're off racing or it's your main race very very easy way to uh, to larva inject. No crazy camera hockey is necessary. Uh, very simple setup. I use 5, 6, and 7. You guys can do it how you want. You can use 7, 8, and 9, 8, 9, 0. But I do recommend you have three hotkeys for your, your main hatchery, your natural hatchery, and then your third hatchery. And then past that, you actually don't really need... Uh, and then just make sure you hotkey... Every hatchery in the map that you have, hotkey them all to one hotkey, which, again, I have... I have all of them on uh, nine usually, so I'll hotkey them all to nine. So, fi so five, six, seven, and then nine is all three of them. So if I want to like mass rally everything, then I press the nine key to rally my production where I want. So there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped you guys out to learn how to larva inject if you didn't know how to already. Now you do. So I'll see you guys uh, on stream and. I am going to get my Zerg on my main account to Grandmasters, and then I'm going to get my Protoss to DM. That's the plan. So, uh, be ready. I'm, uh, on stream, I'm going to explain this on stream, but uh, I'm just going to do it my way, my meta. I'm not going to copy anybody. Uh, I have a very, you know, I have my own style of play, and if I can, if I can, which I will, I'll get it to, I'll get my Zerg to DM. If I can do that, then I'm sure other people can, and uh, you guys can copy my play style if you want. Try and imit imitate it. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you guys on stream. Peace out, peoples. Oh, like, subscribe to the video, let people, you know, spread the video around, all that good stuff. See you later.